Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Hi, it's me again. Shane Fishing Dorset Live. Uh, currently on a Sunday evening. It's sun's out, blue skies. It's a bit cold, but it's, it's manageable. Uh, obviously the temperature is supposed to drop this week. I'm just out with a rag when I had left on Friday night, uh, which was a pretty good session really. It wasn't no blank, I caught place and a white in, so it's all good. It's, the tide's well out, absolutely well out, but like always, I like getting down early. I like chilling out, I like looking at the scenery. I've probably got enough rag run for a couple of hour session tonight. We'll see how it goes, guys. Hopefully, but we'll get bass or flounder. I did plan a fish in the harbour, but this is only down the road from my house. It's just easy to get to and fish. Um, it's easy to park if you can get there quick enough to park. I'm back on my coal mix tonight. Obviously, I don't need big rods for the harbour with the Shimano reels. I'm going to use a three hook flapper with pop ups and a two hook uh, flapper. Just ragworm, that's it, that's all I'm going to try. But the tide's right out, guys, as you can see. The sun's there. Beautiful night, cut the barrels out, then go in for me dinner. But it's all good, I'll bring you back. Anything happens. Well, I can still sit there, you have to excuse the, the road noise, guys. Just got a four ounce, one worm on each, on a two hook flapper. I'm going to pop it out early into the channel. I can actually reach the channel from where I am. The tide's not turned yet. I'll see if I can get something out of the channel. There's bass about, there's flanners about. I mean, bass are not the target at all. But it's inevitable, you will probably get one. I'll get this out, hopefully. We can pull some of it in. do there is just as it hits the water I pull the line back and it stops the lead going in the mud a lot of people cast out they don't pull back and the lead buries in the mud then they either snap it or just struggle getting their lead back out so as it hits the water just pull the rod back just takes the slack out of the line and it keeps the lead from diving in the water too hard guys fingers crossed we get some out right what the fish of the day Low water's at half four, 0.7. High water's at 21, 21. So 21 minutes past nine, and that's a 1.9. So we've got a really good tide to start fishing up. Like I said, I've got enough bait for a couple of hours. It's a nice evening out. Just for bragworm. We'll see what happens. But don't forget, guys, there's plenty of content on my channel. Um, I've caught most things now. Uh, I've not always had the biggest of fish, but I, I've caught the species. So there's, there's videos on my channel, there's live streams on my channel. Just hit a like, hit a subscribe, guys. It's totally free. And that, that's for any channel. But yeah, subscribe is totally the wrong word, really, because it does mean normally paying. But you don't pay to watch any channel on YouTube. So hit a subscribe, guys. I would really appreciate that. Right, I'm just about to get the second one out, guys. I'm using pop-ups. Free hook pl uh, flapper with pop-ups. Little stop rubber there, and I can adjust it. I'll get this one out, because the tide is now ripping in. So I'll get this one out. It should be all good.
Oh, there's old Marcus, he's, he's joining in for a couple of hours tonight. Had a few taps going on his rod. Uh -oh. oh, excuse me. Well, as you can tell, it is now pitch black. I've not had a bite yet at all. Put a new bait on. I'll keep trying for another hour or so. Right, we're about back. an hour into the session now, absolutely nothing yet, nothing at all. And as you can tell, it's pitch black really quick. I've got the two rods out. Marcus has got two rods out. Marcus has come down to use his bait up as well. It ain't looking good tonight. But like always, guys, we're out trying, we're trying to get a bit of content. Just trying to watch my rods. I don't really, really like talking too much for a video, but if you're filming, there's no fish, it just ain't happening, and that's just the way it rolls. I'm gonna keep trying, guys. I'll probably give it another about an hour, and I'll, I'll probably cut my session. I, um, I've probably got about an hour's worth of bait left. I use two to three worms per snood normally uh, when I fish inside the harbour. Hopefully, I can bring you back with a fish. Right, there you go, Marcus's first one. A beautiful green snotty eel <laughs> on a two at flapper. Luckily, it ain't. Oh, it's just about the winces rig up. <laughs> well, then, Marcus, it's your blank, mate. I'm happy now. Yeah, sweet as do. Oh, thank you. I've got to try to get them off now. Yeah, get them off. <laughs> get covered in slime. <coughs> Looks like Marcus is having all the luck tonight. I don't have a single bite yet. Marcus has been getting a lot of bites, but... Yeah, it's gone light, Hey? It's gone really light now. It's gone light? I think I missed it. Missed it? Yeah. yeah, I missed that one. But he's getting the bites. So he's doing something, right? I don't believe it. I'm into my first bite of the session. There's old big shark tip lights on there. I always use them. I started to use some fixed ones for the beaches a bit more. But yeah, left rod. Just had a beautiful bite. Not sure what's on there. Whether it goes again when the camera's on is another thing. It's always the same. You put the camera on. The bite stops. But at the moment, I'll welcome anything. An eel, a checker, anything. Like I say, we're inside the harbour. I had a little bit of bait left. I never had enough to hit a beach. Hopefully. So it's going to be on that left rod. Yeah, he's like, I'll bring it back, guys, if he goes again. I'm still getting some real nice little pulls on the left. I don't want to rush it too much in case there's a flounder sat there. But we had a beautiful pull round and a bit of a slack, and then it pulled back. Every time I put the camera on, the bike stops. What I quickly do is I quickly just tighten it about a quarter of a turn, see if it chases it and see whether he's there. If that land is there, if it's not on, it'll probably chase that bait normally. But that, that was on a two hook flapper, just rag. I put I put three ragworm each snood. Is it gonna shape or in it? <laughs> right, what I think I'm gonna do, it's been on about five minutes. I'll lift it up, 
على بلاشي في ساعة Yeah, he's not there, guys. Just don't forget to chase it. Beautiful bikes and absolutely no weight at all. This could be another blank for me. <laughs> but at the moment, I'll be thankful for anything, even a little checker, I'll be happy with. Here we go, into a really good bite. I've had to put the um, little floodlight on because it's pitch black. I tighten it down, you watch it go. I've got a funny feeling it could be an eel. Hopefully, it will save my blank tonight. There you go, beautiful. I don't want to rush it in case it is a flounder pulling it, because it is quite a big pull round. But it's still there, it's, it's still biting away. Hope it saves the blank. But it has been really quiet. And we're at half seven now. And we've just started to get the bites. Marcus has had an eel and a little checker. Little checker bass. Just tying it one more time, see if he goes again. He's either there or he's not. Like I said, I did I had no intentions of um really fishing the harbour anymore this year to the end of the year. But with it with the amount of like ragworm I had left, I had enough for a harbour session. Still tapping away, guys. I'll pick it up and I'll see if I can feel a bit of weight there. There's no weight there at all, absolutely nothing. I'll put it back down, hopefully it might come back. Right, there we go, a couple of hours in. I've had some really good bites, nothing's connected for me tonight at all. I've gone down at one rod, I'll be packing up soon, I've got work tomorrow, so I've got to get up early. But I'll get a good shot. I didn't want to waste my bait. I'll give it about another half hour. I'll do my ending now. So if I do catch anything else, it'll be added on to the end of the video. But the way it's looking, there won't be nothing added on to the end of the video. Like I say, Marcus has had a little eel. He had a little check of bass as well, so he's happy. It's good to be out again, just for a couple of hours on a Sunday. It'll be another blank video for me. It happens, guys. And I think it's personally good to show it. It doesn't give people false hope showing stacks of fish every time you go fishing, because it doesn't happen all the time. Last year, I had a really good year, so I, I, I think I had one, one blank all year last year. But like I say, as always, guys, there's content on the channel, there's videos, there's live streams you can watch. Um, there's a fit that there's, there's, I've, I've already put a blank video up. I've had reasonably good views on it. Um, I'm only a small channel, so I don't get like thousands of views. But if you're not subscribed, guys, like subscribe, check my channel out. If you like it, it's free to, to join it. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. I'm out trying. 
that's all I can do. See you next time. Thank you.